now, new developments in the intricate murder for hire plot involving the owner of a local supermarket chain. His son has now been arrested, accused of helping him stay on the run overseas. Local 10 News reporter Todd Tongan is live with this one. Todd. Lori, this cold case murder plot has so many twists and turns. In fact, the alleged killer and mastermind of the conspiracy thought he'd gotten away with it and was living abroad. Not anymore. He's behind bars thanks to the hard work of the state attorney's office and the Miami-Dade Police Department. This was a lifetime movie in real life. It was an intricate murder plot masterminded by a millionaire co-founder of the Presidente supermarket chain and carried out by his mixed martial arts fighting henchmen back in June of 2011. 43-year-old Camilo Salazar was found beaten, burned, tortured, and his throat had been slashed from ear to ear. Today, Manuel Marine and two of his three accomplices are behind bars, facing murder, kidnapping, and conspiracy to commit murder charges. The group brutally murdered Salazar because he was having an affair with Marine's wife. Shortly after the murder, as police zeroed in on him, he fled to Spain, where he lived in hiding for seven years. Today, multiple law enforcement agencies raided Marine's son's mansion on Miami Beach. Police say 32-year-old Yadiel Marin could get 15 years in prison for being an accessory after the fact. His financial support from Miami is what allowed his father to remain free in Spain all these years. Police say he aided and abetted his fugitive father by operating a joint bank account to provide financial assistance. He paid a friend to fly to Madrid and deliver $9,000 cash, and he arranged a visit with his father and his young children at a resort in Cuba. Yadiel has a $2 million bond and his father has been extradited and is awaiting trial on no bond. Now I told you that Marine and all of his accomplices but one are behind bars. That one is right now living as a fugitive in Canada. Miami-Dade Police Director told us they're pretty confident they're going to be able to bring him back here to Miami-Dade County to face charges. Outside the state attorney's office, Todd Tong at Local 10 News.